Kia ora, it's your boy Michael and welcome back to another reaction video. And today we will be reacting another video of Emanuela, well not really Emanuela, a Mark Angel comedy featuring Emanuela and success. This is my third sequel of the reaction video from Mark Angel comedy and I'm getting a good feedback and getting messages of doing some more so that's the reason why I'm doing this. By the way, this video is sponsored by Lumen and Lumen is a company that specifically targets male uh, skincare. Recently they have expanded their ventures into like shampoo, um, body wash and other things. So hopefully you guys like it. Check it out in the description down below if you're interested. I still have a promotional code that you guys can use so you'll be able to take advantage of that. I have created seven videos from Mark Angel Comedy and hopefully they won't flag this as copyrighted. Hopefully. Now let's get back to the video. Seven. Okay. Hey baby, go to church. Eh? It's like you bust like that, though. How? Have you changed church? No, I've not been seeing you in church now. So what happened? Why have you not been coming to church? Um, it's nothing. A baby is the one, one who always church. talks about you know iPhone and things. About you? They say you have start joining the people of the world and be walking up and down. Uh -uh. Me. The news is all over. Oh. Me, I'm telling you my own. If you die now, you will go to hellfire. Oh. How far? And me, <laughs> as I'm looking at you like this, eh? Oh, wow. You look like a sinner to me. Oh. <laughs> eh, I'm not a sinner. Oh. Please stop. Eh, start going to church. Now, do you know if you die tomorrow now, you will go to hellfire? Eh? At least just secure your name in the book of life. Start going to church, I beg. Don't she tell me you're not sense, a sinner, you know? I beg. Eh, now, start Abby? going to church. Uh, somebody's even inviting me to church this Sunday. Oh. Eh? Go to church. But somebody's inviting me to Dubai this same Sunday. Oh. And the person has arranged my papers and flight ticket. So, what are you trying to say? You will leave church and go to Dubai. Eh, which one do you think I should do? You're asking me what I think you should do. Leave that Dubai and go to church, Joe. I don't share in that Dubai. She's saying I said eh? Dubai is just like as far as the you church know goes. That anything you know. that takes the place of God in your life is an idol. My dear sister, please go to church and leave that Dubai. What if you're going to Dubai now? You now have plane crash on the road. Plane crash. How don't you know it's hellfire you're going to? <laughs> uh -uh. That's too much positivity from her. No, me, I'm telling you, I like thinking randomly. Ha. You're my friend. I cannot allow you to die a shameful death. <laughs> shameful death. Yes, mommy. Come. Leave that Dubai and go to church. Me, I'm telling you my own. And what I'm telling you is the truth. Go and get me my nail file inside. But mommy, I'll just come from inside. <laughs> what do you mean? My friend, will you get inside you and get me my nail parents. file? Can't I, get it. can't I send you a message again? <laughs> that boy is calling you to Dubai. Do you know how he got his money? I beg, I beg. Vicky, I don't like the way you're sounding. I'll ask somebody else. Okay. No, wala. Mama so says, good afternoon. Uh -uh, iPhone baby, good afternoon. iPhone baby, told you. Please excuse me. Hope there's no problem. Yes, there's no problem. Girl, Mama so says, please do. My phone, baby. You, somebody's inviting you to church. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And another person is inviting you to Dubai that same Sunday. Mm -hmm. The person has arranged for everything, bought your flight ticket. Mm. Please, what will you do? <laughs> eh. <It's not> as <laughs> if I don't want to go to church. Oh. But then, I've been going to church since. And Dubai is a place I would really love to go to. So, if I get this kind of opportunity, <laughs> Yo, I will go to Dubai, Abby, and leave church, <laughs> married woman. <laughs> Look at the kind of advice that you're giving to a young girl like this that is full of life. Right. Eh? It's women like you that is spoiling our generation, no? Eh? Oh, wow. So now you're telling her to leave church and go to Dubai. You want her to miss her future husband in that church, eh? If you were behaving like this, will you see your husband and marry, eh? Is your husband aware that you can follow a man and go hey. to Dubai? See me see problem. So you're telling this girl like this that it's fine like this to leave church it's and It's really to difficult. Dubai. Like you know, you church. Um, how the hell, views eh? of people about church. That that's really phrases of big concern. And you know, big thing for debate or something. And I don't think anyone will win because everyone has like their own opinion about things. Don't be giving people rubbish advice. If you don't have anything to say, just go. We ask for simple advice. I did not say she should come and tell her nonsense. Is it not my opinion? <laughs> I did not say she should not go to church. I'm just giving her no, my no, opinion. No, 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 you're not telling her 
Thank you to the girl. You're telling her to leave God and go and follow man in Dubai. Hey, hey, hey. If it's like that, will you be married by now? Please, if you don't have advice to give to her, close your mouth. Married woman like you need any advice in the zoo. See a severe big clothes and stand there and be saying nonsense. So it's me that is saying nonsense. Yes, so if you don't know what to say or you don't have advice to give to her, close your mouth and stop giving rubbish advice. Married woman like wow. you, what kind of thing is coming out from, from your mouth? Uh uh-uh. uh. Mommy, what happened? Success, see me oh. Is yes. this Success, the last safe everything. Just to insult their elder sister. Uh uh, auntie, what happened? See you, success. Somebody invited me to church, but another person is inviting me to Dubai that same day. And the person has arranged my flight ticket and everything already. And I'm telling her to leave that Dubai trip and go to church. Go to church because, like this, as I'm seeing you, your name is in the book of death. Uh uh. You need to go to church so you will not die and go to hellfire. She <laughs> Barry, you need to go to church. Oh, mm-hmm. oh, oh, she has told you. But wait, but there's auntie, more. Is there I no told you so. Dubai? <laughs> oh, ho. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what if your future husband is in Dubai? <laughs> oh, ho. Mommy, let's go. It's people like you that want to use religion and scatter this country. <laughs> oh, Me? yes, you don't mind her. <laughs> Mrs. Blessing. John the Baptist. Mrs. John the Baptist. Yes, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Church rat. Church. <laughs> There's <laughs> so many. My friend, go inside. You fall on the Vicky and go to church. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Number six. My dad has had the money went to for something I don't even understand. Very again. Uh-huh. I didn't really so um, choose this video. It just randomly uh, downloaded it. Go to the hospital it, for check. It seems like no, a very serious. See, <laughs> better go to the hospital to check yourself or go. Like me, I go to the hospital try to try to check myself. That's too much, eh? Because I don't it's like, like more of like a hypochondriac or something. Uh, it's true, Abby. Yeah, I'll try and go. You better. Do. Mm, talking about checkup. Have you heard of this Apple Series watch? Told you, this lady, iPhone, hmm. Apple. All oh, this Apple product. <laughs> but they did not just change the name and change the color. And that's it they gave to us at high price. All of them are the same thing, John. No, this one is different too. It checks your blood pressure, mm-hmm. sugar level, mm-hmm. in fact, your whole sugar body. Eh? The watch is smart. Can't even tell where that focus. Wow. I really want to get this watch, oh, but the only money I have right now is for my house rent. <laughs> Wait, oh, baby, There's so many videos of her not paying house rent because you're wanting no, to, up to buy like iPhone or Apple products. Watch. But the boy, why is there in every episode you're always talking <laughs> about you. paying this your house rent? Still, you won't pay. And your landlord hasn't thrown you out of this house yet. Hmm. The landlord is being patient with you, Abby. Yes, now nah, because if he gets fed Abby. up, he just you out of this compound. I become homeless. Do you want to be homeless? Abby. No, I don't want to be homeless. So. Eh, hey, so you just have to use that money and pay off your house rent and forget that um, apple in here or whatever they call it. Apple in here, Abby. <laughs> eh, hey, but I still need to ask somebody else. <laughs> <laughs> of course, success is there, mm. waiting to give success. some suggestion. Please, I don't want success to insult you, <laughs> Abby. Ah uh-uh. ah, Auntie, I've insulted you before. Please, oh, I don't want to insult elder food. Some of you have to say success is to insult people in our video. Please, oh, it's advice I should give you. If you ask me for advice, I'll give you. Okay. Oh. Uh, are you sure? Auntie, see, if you want my advice, just tell me. Don't be asking my eyes, or eyes. Mmm. Okay. Success. Mm? I want to buy Apple Series 6 watch, but I need to pay my house rent. And the only money I have right now is to pay my house rent. What do you think I should do? Auntie CM. Use that money and buy Apple oh. Watch. Eh? Uh-uh. <laughs> but if I use it to buy the Apple Watch, I'll be homeless. Uh-huh. Auntie, it's not about to be home as when you have Apple Watch now. It's about to be. I think the watch can tell where that focus. Yes. Eh, hey, hey. When you're homeless and when you want to fall, the watch will tell you on time so you can look for time and hide. I'm literally homeless still. And your iPhone. You want to wear a watch that will be taking your health. Oh, nanny. You see the two of you? Oh. That sickness you are looking for your body. You will see it one day. <laughs> Continue going to hospital every week to check for sickness. Check for your body. Body. Checkmate. <laughs> Don't you see all this cool lines at the end, you know? <laughs> 
Number five. Hi, what do you? See, eh, something is bothering me, and I'm very confused right Better now. Again. Uh-uh. What is it? A guy that has ten thousand naira, okay. give me ten thousand naira. Uh-huh. And the guy that has 200,000 gave me 20,000 naira. Okay. And both of them are asking me out. And I don't know which one to follow. See, baby, 10, 000, this is very, very simple. See, yeah. you don't go to that 10,000 naira. But Flo, the one that has 200,000 naira and gave you 20,000 naira. Because if that one finish, she will still give you more. See, no time for broke boys this year. I know that's right. Yes, I know that's right. See, baby, if you ask me, I will say she flowed the one that has 10,000 naira. And give you ten thousand naira mm. because that boy gave you his all. Boys like that mm. are hard to find. A baby, that is true love. Mm. It means if he has more, he will give you. Abi. Yes, true love. Bakwako, who true love help? A baby, follow the one that has hundred thousand naira. Biko. Nah, you guys are just confusing me. I still need to ask somebody. Oh yes. Emanuela. No, it's remaining number. Two. Emanuela, mm? please come. I want to ask you something. And I hope you don't ask me about it. <laughs> <laughs> Told you. No, come, Joe. So says I'm coming. See, Emanuela, a boy that has 10,000 naira gave me 10,000 naira. giving all. And the boy that has 200,000 naira gave me 20,000 20, naira. Okay. And two of them are asking me out, but I don't know who to follow. Auntie Weto, a boy that has 10,000 naira gave you 10,000 naira. Mm-hmm. Yes. And the boy that has 200,000 naira gave you 20,000 naira. Yes. I don't know which one to follow. Yes. And see, can you take 30,000 naira and follow Jesus? <laughs> <laughs> it's the way art <laughs> and life. And leave broke boys alone. No? <laughs> <laughs> but Emmanuel, somebody that has 200,000 is not broke now. And see, any other that doesn't have up to 1 million naira in his account is broke. Ah, ah, ah. Emmanuel, I want to say something like that. How would you say that? Um, Emmanuel, that's not your line. That's too harsh now. But Dieto, are you not the one that said you should improvise? Yes, I said you should improvise, but that line is going to attack so many people. <laughs> you know what you will do? Let's keep to where you said. Don't worry. I know where to start from. Wala for who no get one. The problem for it. Don't try it. Don't even start. <laughs> Seems like someone yeah, different too, the director. Please, action. At your base, yeah. Better give me that 30,000 naira. Let me help you and hold it. If you don't know what to use, then go and buy. Before you go and use, then buy the latest iPhone charger. Eh, hey, Auntie Berry, have you paid the house? Again, I was trying to get She has missed her line again. See, Emanuela, according to the script. Auntie, forget script. Have you paid your house? Uh uh, director, are we not shooting the comedy again? Wait, Eberi, have you paid your house? Eberi, have you paid your house? house rent? Oh my gosh. See you, I wanted to pay. It's not Susan that said I. Hey, I'm your parents. Susan said what? <laughs> Juliet, you know they went to say I should use the money to buy smart Oh, food. this is the video that. Oh, that we just watch, okay? Use that money and buy Apple Watch. Eh? Uh uh. Eh? I didn't fix this one, by the way. Hey, Auntie <laughs> Berry. <laughs> Auntie C. Every human being is entitled to some minute of stupidity. But you are really abusing that privilege. <laughs> I think you're seeing now. Oh Let us see. Let's take five minutes. Me, I'm hungry. All right, everybody, take five. We'll come back to complete this shit. Director, you will call me a very fair. Director, you don't have one million. Oh. Your account and your bill is still big yeah, like this. I, I think you're <laughs> oh. I hope you're not sorry your last chance of being rich in this life. <laughs> <laughs> Look how his bill is big like football. <laughs> I wonder what poor people eat in Nigeria that is to make their belly. Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh. These kids are harsh. <laughs> okay, number four. <laughs> oh, is that a berry again? I think so. Uh, good morning, sir. Good morning. I think I've watched a prequel of this one. Uh, success. This one you brought your uncle office to my again. office again. I I hope all is well. Uh, principal, I'm not the one that called my uncle to school. Huh? Mm. Actually, success did not come to your office. It was her auntie that called me to your office. <laughs> and uh, auntie, mm? I thought I have fired you before. Yes, sir, but you called me back. <sighs> uh. mm. 
<laughs> okay. <laughs> this one you ask success uncle to come to my office and help on his own. This part all is not well though. The reason why I invited success uncle to your office is to report success to you in the presence of her uncle. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but she this, part, this girl is giving me head echo. <laughs> What? Uh, 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 can you imagine? Success is in a bad gang in my class. <laughs> Me? Success? Bad gang? No. Eh, you mean so? Uh, <laughs> and you know now? Seriously? <laughs> Come off it. <laughs> How will you say this little girl is leading a bad gang in this school? <laughs> <laughs> She's just a child. Yes, exactly. I know that success can be so many things, but not a gang leader. Oh. <laughs> Eh, <laughs> uh, auntie, tell us. I don't know. What There's some twist in here, yeah. for sure. Principal, last week Friday, okay. I gave them a test. You have 10 minutes remaining. And once it's 10 minutes, I'm coming to take your answer sheet. Whether you're finished or not. And if you get home, tell your friends that I refuse to resume school early that I've missed my test. Nonsense. In fact, I'm coming to your table to check if anyone is doing my practice in my class. It's like no one's answering or anything, like you're just staring. <laughs> I told you so. Uh-uh. Bia, what have you written? Nothing. So you mean for the past 30 minutes I gave you this question, you've not written anything? Not even your name? Yay! Get out of my class! Get out! Now listen, if I come to your table and you've not written anything, I will tell you answer shit and you leave my class. Is that clear? Yes, auntie. Nonsense. Please, oh. <laughs> have anybody written anything? No. Oh. Uh-uh, have you written anything? No. Uh-uh, what are we waiting for now? Oh. <laughs> auntie, I'm leaving your class for oh. <laughs> And the other case will follow? You should sit down there and write rubbish that is still there. Me, I'm going home. Oh. <laughs> I'm principal. That was how all of them left my class. So. <laughs> Success! So you're not leading a protest in my school? No! So why did you tear your book and make others leave the class? If I see a man to say that if you don't write any message, that she'll come to assist and tear our book. Uh huh. So I said, instead of her to come to assist and tear our answers, mm-hmm. let her just tear it at once. Makes sense. <laughs> Because we don't know what to write. Success! How do you say you don't know what to write? Whisper, school does resume now, which I have not taught us anything, and she gave her test. Oh, oh. Wait! You mean school just resumed, and you have not taught them anything, and you gave her test? Who does that? Uh, sorry, sir. Before we left for the holiday, we we'll asked them to study and teach themselves at home because the academic calendar will still be running despite the COVID. And you see can I just come and give me the sweet so not teach me anything? Mm-hmm. Since I'm the one that taught myself, let me give myself the test. I agree. <laughs> I agree with her 100%. Since you asked her to teach herself, allow her to give herself test. In fact, let's make this thing to be fair. Once she's through with the test, I'm going to mark it myself. <laughs> so you will not come now and say that she wrote something that she's not supposed to write. Uh-uh. Did you get her coming to this place? Eh? Don't mind them. They said that we give you some more test without teaching the person. If God tells you like that without giving me ten command, they won't you say your answer shit. Oh, oh. <laughs> I will come and be going to beg. I know who protest. Rice in the say so say I block Lake Tolkien. Lake Tolkien. You're fired again, I think. Uh, auntie. Yes, sir. Apart from you, did I call any teacher back? No, sir. So if I fire you now, I don't have any teacher in this school. <coughs> yes, sir. <laughs> 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 like the loop. Three. Three more. Last three. Nah, what are you okay. Ice cream. Oh, oh she's wearing a Balenciaga. Where is Mark? He's not around. I think. He went out. These kids. That means we're going to carry on this meeting without him. Eh, uh, Gabriel. So sorry, eh? So sorry I'm late. Okay. Eh, uh, but this one you go for a meeting. I hope all is well. <laughs> Don't worry, everything is fine. Eh, uh, <laughs> Actually, I called for this meeting to tell you guys that. I want to propose to my girlfriend. Mm-hmm. Ah! <laughs> hey, Proposal. That, that's good news. But but there's a little problem. Uh. 
I don't know how to go about it. So I need ideas on how I'm going to propose to her. Ah. That's why I called you guys out. <laughs> Keep going. This is very simple now. Eh? All you need to do is, uh, we will just do as if we are fighting on the street in her presence. You know, she will not like to see both of us fighting. So she will want to come and separate us. You will now kneel down and propose to her. Ah. <laughs> It's as easy as that. Uh uh, no, nah, that is old. <laughs> Don't dare to watch it in movie. <laughs> Uncle, you know better you call her and tell her that you have a surprise for her. Then when she's coming, check her countenance. If she's in a good mood, then just go on your news and propose to her. No, 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 no. That is too simple, simple now. Nah. Uh-huh. If that's where I wanted it, do you think I would have called you guys out? See, I want something mind blowing. I want something spectacular. Mm-hmm. I want something that will break the internet. Break the yes. Mm? I'm thinking something's gonna go wrong in here. <laughs> <laughs> Keep so like monkey. I have the idea that you need. Hey. Native sense. Native tell me, tell me, tell me. See, see what's going to happen here. Eh? You take her out to a restaurant, a very beautiful restaurant. Make sure she's very comfortable and she likes the place. Then you move over to the counter and buy two plates of ice cream. Oh, ice cream. One for you and one for her. Then you open the one that is for her, slot in the ring and close it properly. Take the ice cream to her like a gentleman that you are. Serve her the ice cream. As she opens it to scoop, she will notice the ring. Then you go on your knees and say, please marry me. Ooh. Wow! <laughs> this is the perfect idea. Make this sense. is exactly make what I'm talking about. Make you get to the point yes, now. I love this idea. In fact, that is how we're going to do it. Yes! <laughs> I'm going to call her now and tell her that I'm taking her out. <laughs> but say, you know you need to be there. I'll be there so for I'll be you. To Emanuela, see, I need you to record the proposal. So, I can make you put it on the internet and break the internet. Break okay. the internet. Success, you will accompany her. Okay. Both of you should dress well. <laughs> you know, this is my proposal. Oh, yeah, you guys should borrow your proposal. Can wait. Can wait. Can wait. Can wait. Okay. I hope you like it here. Mm-hmm. I'm sure she'll know success in Emanuela and K Brown. Can I go and get the ice cream? Yes. Okay, I'm coming. I get it. Why didn't he just put it in his pocket when they go there? That you know? is fine. Eh? If the, the ring is not too big anyway, he just put it in his pocket. Maybe they swap or something. Who knows? Let me video them. Go live. Okay, okay. Hey guys, Uncle Kebran is about to propose to his girlfriend. He put the ring in her ice cream. Just watch. Enjoy it. <laughs> I just needed to check if the, since someone called, maybe they're recording. You like the ice cream, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> the ice cream is very, very, very tasty. I didn't know you know nice places. Since like it's taking so long, <laughs> I think they swapped. Just wait, wait. The 17 in here, but the other one was like 200 or something. Oh, it's not hard enough. Hmm. K Brown. <laughs> yes? 
So now you brought me out today. What are we celebrating? Don't worry. Something you'll soon find out. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I hope you're enjoying the ice cream. Yes, it's nice. I like it. In fact, I love it. <laughs> and I love this place. It's very beautiful. I told you they swapped or something. We need to be coming here every day. Oh. Started adding up. How far now? This ice cream will not be okay for me. You. you need to get more. You've already finished the ice cream. Mm-hmm. Can't you see? Oh my gosh. Is that they swap the top? I need more. Or ice cream. you accidentally put <laughs> You mean you finished this ice cream? Oh, she oh, she might have swallowed it. Now. You didn't tell me it's this size you want to buy. I would have told you to buy the one liter pack. Oh, wait, wait. <laughs> wait, Did you feel anything in your mouth when you were licking the ice cream? Something like? Like something that is not ice cream. <laughs> like, um, one liter. like something like um th- that is round. I didn't notice anything. Auntie. <laughs> are you feeling anything in your tooth? Uh-uh. No. Auntie, is the truth not doing you ring ring? I don't understand. <laughs> well, what's going on here? What are these questions? I'm fine. Hey! Auntie, hello, Laring. <laughs> Keep wrong. What's going on? Auntie, it's you weird. have swallowed How? your engagement Even ring. Even the smallest thing. Ah, Jesus, keep wrong. Even the smallest thing. Did you put any ring in my ice cream? Um, um, it was Bester's idea. Hey! Hey! Me! Hey! Best Jesus! Best. How? It's not even that I should put ring in ice cream. Help me, oh. Somebody should help me, oh. Hey, God, God, Mason. God, what's going to happen to me? Will I die? Uncle Kebron, I think I told you to just propose to this auntie normally. Say you want to break the internet. Yeah. Um, internet are broke. Hey. Yeah, let's go. Oh, come on. Don't overreact. This one has swallowed her last die. chance of getting married. Hey, you will should help me, oh. You will should help me, oh. Kebron, you, you. Hey, Kebron, you. you, you. Oh, hey, Jesus. So this is how I'm going to die because Am I going to die? You will allow me to this guy now. Allow me to kill him. This is my kill him. Best time. Best time. Best time. You're very wicked. I'm going to kill you today. Keep on your way. You will leave me alone. Engagement done. <laughs> To you, I'm coming to That's like old one. You want to run? Six to six. I think I'm coming to give my assignment again. Me. Sorry. I will slap you now. You say that I'm <laughs> going to this side to go and do something, and you're here talking rubbish. Anyway, done something. Uncle, please help me and spare pits. P. I. T. Uncle, please help me and spare crocodile. <laughs> Uncle, please help me and spare crocodile. Uncle, please let me a spare Coco die. <laughs> it's funny how he reacts. See, that uncle has finished making call. Okay, cannot spare Coco die. She has missed her line. Man, let's see. You're not supposed to say anything. According to the script, you're supposed to go Forget back. about the script. Spell code oh, that. Same storyline as earlier. Let's have this girl. Director, please, I'm sorry. Off camera. In real life, Uncle cannot spell code that. So small. In real life, I go slap. I go beat her. Uncle Director, forget about this girl. You are shooting now. In real life, Uncle cannot spell code that. Uncle spell code that in real life. Director, spell it. Yes, spell it. <laughs> spell it. <laughs> I, I see a Whoopi Goldberg in his face. I don't know why, but... See, Uncle, you know my shooting comedy, you better go back to noisy school. See him, my uncle. Please let us start this thing from beginning, Joe. Sorry.
Last one. Good morning, class. Good morning, Good morning Auntie. Morning, Auntie. How are you all doing? We are fine, right. thank you. Are you? I'm okay. <laughs> so today is an interactive word. So primary class. school. Remember and we'll be talking things. about what? Our parents. But first of all, I want to ask you all a question. What is the best legacy a father can leave for his family in this mm. country? Yes, Esther. Best the best legacy a father can leave for his family is a good name. A good. good. Name. Put your hands together mm. for Esther. The best legacy a father can leave any. for his family oh, in this country is what? Good name. Because even the Bible said that a good name is better than what? Silver and gold. Oh. Success. Yes. Stand up. What are you doing? I'm trying to copy the notice I should copy. Must you do that now? Not that I'm well, talking. I'm talking. <laughs> come outside. I'm teaching you're doing something else. Do see she do kawa Bia, what? are you not part of this class? Bia. Auntie, I'm part of this class now. Okay, what was the last thing I said? Hmm. Okay, Auntie, you Show said, them, girl. what is the best legacy a father can leave for his family in this country? Uh-huh. Then Esther now said, the best legacy a father can leave for his family in this country is a good name. Okay, that's I good. I want to ask you some more question. Go on. Which country are we talking about here? Ah <laughs> ah. Uh-uh. Are we not in Nigeria? Why Nigeria? Mm, we're talking about Nigeria now. Nah. And you said the best legacy a father can leave for his family. In this Nigeria, it's a good name. Yes, of course. Only, yes, it's even in the Bible. <laughs> and to see it, the best legacy a father can live for his family in this country, money. in this Nigeria, <laughs> is money. <laughs> Plenty of money. Plenty uh-uh. of money. And dual citizenship. Ooh. In case they sell this country tomorrow, yeah. <laughs> so that we know where to run to. I feel like be serious in this classroom. <coughs> well, Hala for this country, they like temporal, no. No temporary <laughs> end, no. Who good name, Hop Kwane? Come on, go and sit down. Change. You are lucky this is a midday lesson. I would have flogged you here now. <laughs> She's funny, All of you should shut up, John. <laughs> oh, yeah, close that book and put inside your locker. <laughs> They're back here. Yeah. In fact, you are going to something else. If I punch you, you stand up and tell me something nice about your father. Do you all understand? Yes, Auntie. Mm-hmm. Abigail, stand up. My father is so nice. He takes us to Dubai every Christmas. Wow. Oh. Wow, that's nice. Put your hands together. For her. Wealthy family. Yes, Esther. My father is so nice, he calls me a queen and calls my brother a king. Oh. Wow, oh. put your hands together for her. <laughs> yes, Mirabel. My father is so nice, every time my mom asks him for transport, he buys her a car. Hmm. Wow. Wow, can you imagine That's that? Please clap really for her. <laughs> See someone's husband. <laughs> that is God, again. When? Yes, gospel. My father is so nice. He dog five swimming pools in our compound for me and my four siblings. Ah. Wow. <laughs> five swimming pools, huh? Put your hands together for God's sake. Getting out of hand again? That means the whole compound can have a mini. Please, somebody should not drown, no. Yes, you. My father is so nice. I asked him for a pet and he bought me a dragon. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Success! What is this? <laughs> and she's not. So what did you shout? Oh yeah, stand up. It's her thing. I wonder what she's gonna say. Tell us something nice about your father. Hmm. Okay. My father is so nice. I told him that I have a headache and he bought me a new head. Hey! <laughs> Success! What kind of fly is that? <laughs> And <laughs> I was enjoying this classroom before Mira Benna started. The big hair gospel. <laughs> gospel, why didn't you tell us your family is full of married spirits? Yay. Then you, your father bought you dragon. Merlin. Merlin. Kai. 
Nothing protesters no go see for like two gates. You know the dragon. You should have told us that your father is the king. The game of Thrones. Throne. <laughs> okay, so this is what we are doing now. Line competition. Hi, I beg I'm not doing it again. This is a new year job. All of you, I'm your mattress. Lie on me. Mattress. I'm your mattress. Or just what? end me. I'm your sass. <laughs> Walk away. Too fast, you. Before Tom Brett to sound and judgment to meet you people inside here. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, I guess that ends all the whole compilation. And hopefully you guys have enjoyed the whole um, reaction video. Again, if you're new to this channel, please don't forget to hit the like button on this video so it's gonna be suggested to other viewers. Also, click the subscribe button down there. Again, this is your boy Michael. See you on my next video. <laughs>